Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to Thursday, the 11th of April. It was a uh, 30, I think we got to 34 last night. Wasn't quite as cold as the night before, but it's, uh, it's like 42, 43 at the moment. Sun's already starting to peak out. Anyway, let's go to work. Earn our keep, shall we? Shockingly, it's 51 degrees here in Vancouver. That is crazy. How much I can jump. Yeah. Absolutely nuts. Well, Mama? Yes, huh? It's Thursday. It is. It's your two on two. Yes, two left. Two two. We're out. Yeah. <laughs> For two days. Yeah, which the weekend seems. Weekend seems like it just lasts hours. I know. Not even a whole day. Get a few projects going and. Yeah. Wow, it's gone. I know. Mow the lawn, that can take a whole day. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's go in. The, looks like it's going to be way nicer here than it's going to be in Bank or Toledo. Yeah. So I think it's only supposed to be like 57 or something. I don't know what it is here. Yeah. I imagine it looks like it's going to be warm, mm -hmm. which will be fine. Yes. All right, Mo. All right, Have Mo. yourself a wonderful Thursday. You too. And I'll see you in the passings. All right. All right. Bye bye now. Bye. I say love you, see you, bye. Yep. Love you, see you, bye. I love you too. <laughs> BMW and BRP training. Doing BMW first. Because <laughs> all the new little nuances to this thing. It seems to be mostly like sales oriented stuff that I'm getting, but there's a lot of technical stuff there. But let's take Ken's lovely new ride. For a ride, just a quick parking lot ride. <laughs> Definitely got a whole bunch of different sounds. Come on, I just had you running. I like them. There we go. Let them calm down a little bit before I drop them in gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, That'd be not, not the best way to win friends and influence people there to take somebody's new bike for a, for a wheelie run. Come on now. So he wanted to make sure you had the latest up software on there. Man, that was a, actually a huge update. Then once I was done, it, it uh, kicked up a TM code. And, They did get a green they were just slow with the draw that sprinter van is going to give me the opportunity to leave but anyway uh through a code i went into a measures plan and it says would you like to update the tm and i'm like uh yeah i just did an update but but it does it a different way so it's up there and it goes all of a sudden it pops up and says, uh, update successful. Went back, cleared the code, and she's gone. But, man, that took a while to get that thing updated. But the nice thing was, I sat there and waited for it. You know how they always get stuck doing the combi? Uh, oh, man, that thing turned so much nicer than the old ones. What? I just one hand in that thing around there. I'm like, yeah. What was that? Mm. Yeah, it's something else. Something to be reckoned with. I wonder if they'll ever come out with a GSA version or are they just going to... They're going to be the GS, focus all their stuff on that. I know there's an M-Series sitting right there, or painted up to look like one. It's as scary like it was last time, isn't it? Yeah, oh, and there's something coming, too. Here's that boy. <laughs> Just everything about this thing is new. The nuances, the feel. Slow, apparently slow speed one hand handling that thing is just incredible it just 
feels like nothing's up there. It's like it's guiding itself. It's like it's turning by my will, not my actions, you know? Oh, and the compre compression braking. I was just talking about that yesterday when Kelly and I were going along in the in the Acura. Ooh, broking. I think that was that one color that I was looking at at first. It's nice. It definitely isn't what I thought it was. Wow, look at that security car straight ahead of us. Does that look just absolutely mean in that in that white with all blacked out grill and stuff? Yeah, buddy. Something like that in a state patrol. That would that'd make you weak in your knees, wouldn't it? <laughs> you see that guy, you done done something terribly wrong. I'm telling you, this thing wants to be shift assist. Shift. It's like riding a K1600. If you do it manually, it's it's clunky. But it just floats when you do it. Even at low speeds. this floats but I'm an old manual kind of guy I reckon hmm. I think he's I may have the dates miscombobbled but I, I know Thursday I think it's like next Thursday he's coming back for his free first service So BMW's doing the first service for free. <laughs> Just nothing more than oil change and some look at this. Not it's not a regular first service. It's a well, I mean it's good enough. I mean really at 600 miles, really the only thing you should have to do is the oil and filter change. But you know prior, you know there was a list of things you did and you you spent some time on it. And I think they give us. I don't know, six or seven tenths to do it, something like that, maybe not even that much. So it's, it's a quickie. But it'd be like, you know, what's gonna happen in that amount of time? But, you know, I go through, I check spokes and, and all this stuff. I don't think the, I mean, the bevel gear was always on the first service. I don't know, Tim's done the first two. I haven't, I haven't done the first service on it myself, on one of these myself, but they're free. But you, you know, it's it's due at a thousand kilometers or 621 miles. If you go over 700 miles, pff, you're out. They don't will not do it for free at that point. So uh, make sure you uh, stay within that range. I like how the pegs are set back a little further. It feels sportier, which would make sense because let's face it, most people spend. 90% of their time on road with one of these as I would too If I'm going dirt bike riding, I'm gonna take a dirt bike But you know, it's nice that you can go places and, You know people like to challenge themselves and go out there and literally beat the holy heck out of these things by doing crap They shouldn't and Then they go, oh yeah, Cole's got battle scars. I'm thinking <laughs> All I see is devaluing your, your vehicle is what I see. But teach their own your money. I'm going to do that insanity thing and think I'm going to get through here. I can tell you from now I can't. Or from here anyway. I think I can go through the campers, but that level. This level will ruffle some feathers. We're diving through all the campers. Somebody jumps out of one of the camper doors and here's this motorcycle coming by and scare them and then that'd be it. I'd be in trouble. <laughs> 65 degrees out here and that feels absolutely perfect. I feel like I kind of feel like I feel more heat. Maybe it's just that it's warm out today. Not the 65 is warm, but in our weather, that's warm. Thanks for not running me over there, Dodge. Very nice. 
nice that shift this is. But I didn't kind of, I didn't really finish what I was going to say there to, when I was coming out. Uh, when you manually shift it, like a K1600, they they kind of clank like a like riding a Harley. You know, they got a very positive um, detent on the shift drone. They go bang, they go into gear and stay in gear. You don't you don't get miss shifts <laughs> with Harleys. If you do, something's something's really wrong. I like how the clutch is. You know, first couple got my attention hey I was just talking about see this guy wasn't out here and there she is I think he watches the vlogs I'm sorry at the moment I cannot think of your name but hello love seeing your sea sky yeah look at that I do love that green that's sexy and the white you know is sea to sky and coast to the high ski mountains and um oh they got a line going here they must be picking up kids or some kind of traffic snafu can imagine what traffic we're going through here but whatever oh yeah so school must be up and running huh let's just do a quick oh look at that i can even avoid the water hole today oh yeah that was my fault that I put my foot down because I, I second guessed myself. I don't know if I got this. No, I don't have the windscreen set. But you can go through and set how you want. Let's go down here. Hit OK. And now that will become the windscreen. And then you can, by default, it's adjusting. Um, the reason it said not available is because by default it's setting the cruise so i switch it because i'm i'm never going to use the cruise well, i will on a long trip but i'm just not going to ever use cruise but i'll probably play with the windshield a lot so that's what i do but you can't turn eco off if you do you lose rain mode which around here, rain mode probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have. It's a wet sump motor now, so you have to let them run until the fan cycles because a cavity somewhere in there is the oil tank. It's held separate from what's going through the engine. And um, it is a better way because the engine's only running, it only has enough oil in the engine area to make the bike function in other words the crank isn't splashing through it and you know creating that resistance but uh you don't check the oil like you did before you know actually they do want you to check it when the fan cycles the first time just because the oil expands by the time it reaches that temperature it's expanded a little bit and that's where they want you to check the oils when it's hot so i did the fans that, but it needs to be at the full temperature don't you're going by coolant temperature that doesn't mean that's what the oil temperature is you need to take it for a ride get it warm and i'll go in you set it you know flat on the ground and lift it and you look at your little window there <laughs> interesting enough it's showing the oil level while it's running so that that level things well i guess that's the way spiders and everything are the dipstick and stuff for a spider is dipping into the tank you can technically check the spider oil uh, while it's running, it'll just be slightly low of what it's supposed to be. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, not only is it the tool that it is, and I think they're beautiful for that reason, that it's a very functional tool, but, I mean, anybody could look at this and go, that's cool looking. That is very cool looking. The fan, because it's all water-cooled, it's not just water-cooled heads like before, the fan definitely cycles way more than what they do. It cycles like a regular water-cooled bike. You get it to a point the fan's running, it just keeps running, you know. It cycles often where the um, the air, air and water-cooled ones, the previous models. Yeah, I walked away. If you step in front of these things, 
it lo the well I've showed you where the battery is you can see the antenna the typical BMW if you stand in front of it and try to boot it up it says it can't find the key I wasn't there long enough but I would love to just keep riding this thing and, and keep riding it I would imagine with all the wind deflection you know even when the shields up I mean you get these extra I mean but you got these deflectors you know and you got these escapes in here to help stop some of the negative pressure and then the, see the shield comes up high enough again air is going to come up from there and by you know knocking this negative pressure out of here it, the wind's not going to roll and come and hit you and you get that head buffeting the idea of this people go oh the cold air is going to come through there you're never going to notice that what it does it allows it to skip and make a larger window what appears to be a larger window what do you think there, Beamer? Should we head on back? She says, I have to ride for a little bit. Well, trust me, young gal. Your owner is a rider. You'll be ridden a lot. You'll get some serious love. And as usual, I like the windshields. I kind of like the, the no shield look. And I like that thing comes down as low as it does. It's kind of like a fly screen I mean the nav's more in the way than the, than the screen you know look at that sea sky <laughs> I'm telling you what there's a whole new set of sounds on these things but that's cool they're gonna do what they're gonna do Every, everything has its own its own little well almost stalled it too its own little thing rides always have to come to an end. Why, mama, why? We'll back her in here. I'll pull her in first here and then we'll back her up. <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to stop at stoplight to get a ticket on this thing. I'm stopping you, sir, because you failed to stop. No foot down. It's considered a... Oh power's right there it's like the r18s yeah buddy well thanks for coming for the rip <laughs> back to testing well hello there you dude holy moly i think it's about to rain on us out here yeah it's supposed to be There's coming chance, yeah between seven and nine somewhere around there it's yeah. supposed to rain and that's it <laughs> well it's like, supposed to rain in the morning, but then after that. Oh, I just no seen more. it at night. I didn't look that far. But um, yeah, it looks like the seven or eight o'clock thing is is gonna. In fact, I feel little trickles hitting me. Yeah, it's going sprinkle, sprinkle. yeah really super light. Anyway, good day at work. Everything went smoothly, no problems that I know of. <laughs> you never know what's going on internally. And this is true. Yeah, but uh. Anyway, I think on that, because it's all, all about the BMW and the ride. Quite uh, nice. And um, yeah, I think we're going to roll down on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Heck yeah. All right. We see you in the morning. Yeah. See you on Friday. Yeah, Friday. All right. See you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.